Hidden Object Guru here, back with more Ant Stream. We're into the bees today. Uh, does that make this the bees' knees? <laughs> Maybe. I will check, Arrow. Alright. Alright, so. Uh, hold on. Alright, so transfer to base. Fire halt, start movement. Battle Valley. Okay, I may have the sound turned off. Hold on, everybody. This is quite embarrassing. You and I have different opinions on the word. Okay, so I'm tank. Moving in a shockingly ugly location. I think I'm sh You know, I'm shooting. Yay, I've sped up slightly. And then I stopped. This is exciting. I know, right? Well, it's like we're living in a beautiful future where tank games exist. Uh, do I pre-record my exercise streams? No. No, those are those are live. You can talk to me when I'm doing them. Um, unless you mean something else by pre-record, I, I don't know. Woohoo! Take that, tank! Oh, dang, I got hurt. Good morning, Marissa. You missed Cozy Grove. But it's okay. Jeremy Grumble, we didn't finish the story yet. Ooh, that was close. Oh, cool. I'm glad we had a nice new show, too. Nice. What is Sons of the Forest? Yes, I am playing while biking. On an exercise bike playing Green Hell. Yeah, I can't hit these things when they're that close to the ground. It's very weird. I think I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Well, we had a good run, uh, but sadly our tank was destroyed by falling into Ow, a river. Who could have seen that coming? That Ow was me poking him. That was not much of a game. Uh... But hey, we're 32nd on Earth in uh, playing it. Yeah, so Arrow, good. it's really funny, because I, I will literally sometimes come home from work and he's still doing an exercise stream. And he's, like, sitting on his bike, wearing a VR helmet, and wait, wait. and just, yeah, and working out while playing video games and talking to y'all. Rotate, drop block, rotate Z, X, or Y? There are three <sighs> axes to rotate? Oh no, it's 3D Tetris! <gasps> How does this even work? He wants to be challenged. You might play this later. Oh, this looks horrible. I know, that's what I'm saying. No, I will not be playing it. There is actually a new version of this that came out for the DS. So when I say new, I mean relatively speaking. Okay. That is much prettier and doesn't hurt my head as much as this. Yeah, is. that kind of hurts to look at, doesn't it's, it? It's so horrific to look at. It's kind of frustrating that they don't show you uh, the next block. I feel like the key of Tetris being playable yeah. is them showing you the next block. Does that make sense, or am I being too no, simplistic about Tetris? Right. Okay, good. Damn it! Uh, see, I would have gone beside that. Oh, that would have been much smarter. Yeah. Now I'm just waiting for another one block. I, I do say I like that uh, they have different colors for each layer. No, for each layer. Oh. Not for each block. Oh, damn it. Yeah. In my defense, you did distract me. Oh, this is going quite badly. You are notoriously bad at Tetris. Oh, here we go. Famously, yes. I destroyed something, finally. Good job. No, it was not a good job. Oh, you're not going to be able to stay long? We're good, Marissa. Uh, it, uh, Hoguru here stumbled out of bed moments before starting the stream, and I made him speak to me at least one full series of words, not even a sentence, before I let him start the stream, because he had not actually spoken by that point. He just kept grunting at me. I feel fantastic. First off, the word is grumbling. Grumbling. He kept rumbling. Uh, so there, and then there. 
All right, well, this is a disaster. Yeah. I mean, it's a clever twist on Tetris, but I'm not good at Tetris to start with. There's only one Tetris I've ever been good at, you and that's Tetrisphere. You ten nights in Scrutinize, but you failed once. You must start over, which is pretty unfair. Tell Wait, you, have to, you the... can't start on the, the same day you died? Telling him that the game's unfair is not going to convince him to, bother to pay, play it. Just FYI. Okay. He hates that kind of stuff. I do. Well, I mean, we'll play it. I just definitely won't beat it. Virtual keyboard? Why would I need a virtual oh, keyboard? Oh, I'm glad it was completely normal for the last 20 Ow! minutes. Ow! I was told to do it. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. You're a terrible person. Okay, so now I have decided to start yeah. elevating. It's like elevator action, except you're painting a wall. What is the name of that Tetris game? Which one? The one that has all like the three D bits. It's such a good game. I see. And I've heard people like criticize it, and I'm like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Ow! I wish I had it like the action Nintendo, so I could just like play it on the computer. Oh my god! I'm getting brutalized. I don't know what's happening. Well, the elevators are hitting me. And then that uh, burb is hitting me. Yeah, burb. I think it's a burb. Oh, Christmas Garfield. I love when people start guessing right away. As well they should. There's a pumpkin head. In fact, everybody get your guesses in. For the plushie cam. Well, I feel like, I often feel like when they make games too hard, like that, that a casual gamer can't really play them. That's true. And it all, always feels like gatekeeping to me. A little. Like, I'm just like... I have been very open about the fact that no game, yeah. uh, that every game should have not just an easy mode, but an insultingly easy mode where the game basically plays itself. Yeah. Where basically, I just press, uh, A over and over again, and a character does whatever awesome thing needs to happen for the game to end. All right. Like, well, there's a reason the majority of basketball this hoops is killing they, they sell have an adjustable height. Exactly. You know, like it's just. Thank you, Marissa. I appreciate reminding us, because lasagna <laughs> is the perfect breakfast meat. That was, that was really funny. Yeah. So enjoy getting that shirt, everybody. When we launch the store, Battle oh Island. God. Tell You're me more. So. I love that, like, on one of my biggest weeks of work ever, you're like, hey, how about you open that store this week? I mean, tell everybody you're Which doing Which I that. say, you're welcome. Uh, I will get ready, player. What the hell is this? Well, I'm trying to avoid sharks and get to oh, Battle yeah. Island where the oh. game takes place. I was like, are you that ball thing? And I was like, oh, that's a guy rolling. It's kind of wrapped. Uh, so, it's basically just a fake version of Commando. Do you remember Commando? Yeah. Fun fact, Bionic Commando is a sequel to Commando. Not a lot of people know that. Ah, they got me. So anyway. Oh, the best breakfast meat is lasagna. Lasagna? Lasagna. I can't right. say that. I feel like lasagna was the first word, though. We're going to have to check the tape. <laughs> Wait, like are we going to have to check the right. tape? Of course she's right. I was very <laughs> drunk when I said it. Uh, so the rules of plushie cam are everybody gets one guess if you are uh careful there we go everybody gets one guess if you guess the same thing as someone else only the first one in the time my timeline counts uh careful if you guess a category and you're right about the category for example you say it's a kitten and i know it's a tiger i'll be like well what kind of kitten and then if you say tiger well you would win but if you said Garfield, you wouldn't. Because Garfield, despite the stripes, is not a tiger. He just has a tiger energy. So anyway... Uh, it ten times? That's awesome! That's very strange. No notes, but very strange. You watch things repetitively all the time. Me getting super drunk and... You've watched some of the weird some more news, like, countless times. Yeah, and none of that is the same as me getting super <laughs> drunk and playing Haunted Hotel 20. By the way, I did have the lasagna for breakfast. As well you should. It's the best breakfast it meat. It really was. Now I'm very full. Oh, okay. Oh. So as I was saying, uh, careful. 
Does Nintendo Switch have Steam? No. No, it does not. So what you want to do is uh, make sure when you're guessing, yeah, uh, that you don't guess the plushie who was on here yesterday, because it's never going to be the same plushie uh, two days in a row until we get Jeremy Gruffle, at which point it's just always going to be Jeremy Gruffle. That's a lie, but it's a fun lie. No! So if you win, uh, you will get sent a list of game codes for Steam, Switch, and PS4. Hammer Brothers. And uh, you can just pick which one you want. And yeah, I will send yeah. you that game code. Look! Oh. Is that is that not like a miniature? Is that a painting or is that like a miniature someone made? No idea. You took a photograph of. Uh, yeah, Arrow, a lot of people have that strategy now. It's a fun strategy. It's a very good strategy. There was okay, where... I'm going to go on a limb and say the game we're about to play cannot conceivably be as good as that, as that cover art. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, there was a point, era where uh, a Queen of the Night guessed something and Horror King kept stealing her guess, so then she kept stealing it back from him. It was a very weird fight. It was a very amusing. Fourth domestic title, yes. Air Hole. A really Second good question, title, Horror Daikun. King, is the real Ghostbusters for the Commodore 64 in this collection of games? We'll find out as we go. Yeah. We have to wait till we get to Ninth ours. Ninth word title, Federico. Apparently his tall, he's tall 13 meters. Eighth world title, Alvalos. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to punch monsters? So yeah, it's a monster. It's legitimately a monster wrestling game. Cool. So, so who do we play as? So I can play as Airhole, Ominous. Wait, Ominous? I have to go with the pun, obviously. <laughs> and we're going to be fighting. Dib Bax. Zero zero four. <laughs> I have no idea what that first letter is supposed to be. I think it's a G. Gax. Gax? No, it was no, an Gax. H. Hax. That didn't look like an H to me. All right, time for some beast wrestling. So yeah, so we have only three guesses so far for the plushie killers. So if anybody else wants to get their guess in. Aha! Ow. Okay, I don't know what's supposed to be happening here. No I got bars. him! What's are that? There, bars? there aren't. There is! Maybe I'm supposed to press the A button. Oh, I'm running back and forth through the ring as if. Wait, how did I disappear? I'm invisible? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I was invisible. Is that what the A button did? I don't know. Weird. Later, Marissa. Bye, Marissa! You did. The character's name is Airhole. It's a very weird name. Okay, well, <laughs> it's really not clear what that was supposed oh, to be. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed the live stream wow. last night, Queen of the Night. Oh. Hopefully it will be one of our more popular live streams. Okay, next up, Brutal Football. Is this just Blood Bowl? Yeah, it's just Blood Bowl. For, uh, for all I know, it might be a licensed Blood Bowl game. Okay, probably not. Don't you love Blood Bowl? I do love Blood Bowl. Way too much. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Dang. Okay. So far, I'm not excited by these games. I want you to skip to something I'm excited about. We're doing this alphabetically. I know. Damn you and your rules. I am bad at having rules. Oh, yeah, it's punch football. I remember this. I've definitely played this before. Alright, so let's on here. Alright. It's not something I ever would have wanted to play, though. Yeah, I get that. Alright, quickly. All right. Oh, wait, that was a bad guy team. I got the football, everybody. And that guy grabbed a turtle. Guys, keep covering for me. You got this. Kill that guy, please. Oh, no! We'll 
Let's Quickly, run it in! And I just won the game of football. You're welcome, world. We'll try and talk him into scrolling down to see if it's... Oh, we'll check it. later, yes. Uh, oh. Because famous, uh, famously, busting makes me feel good. Busting makes me feel good. See? Do, she agrees. Do, do, do. Now I just want to watch Ghostbusters. As well you should. It's a great movie. No, I meant the cartoon. Oh, well that's good too. Oh, Bubbles! I, I loved that cartoon. We used to play this in the arcade. What is this? It's a before. bubble! Remember you control a bubble that has wonky momentum? You have to clean up a thing and avoid being hit by scrubbing nonsense? Uh, the answer bonus points? And for some reason a witch is trying to kill you? And the giant ant can also kill you? The and the witch... No, no, if you collect the little ants, they count as garbage. And what the witch does is she steals the garbage as well, so you can't, anyone she picks up, you can't get any points for it. See? Got her. You know what? It only occurs to me now, as a grown man, that she was supposed to be a cleaning lady and not a witch. I saw a lady with a broom, and I assumed that meant she was a witch. Is that sexist? Yes. I don't know if that's sexist. It's interesting. It's a strange game, but you're right. She's clearly a, a witch. A, 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 a cleaning lady. Yeah, but she rides the broom, too. Yeah. We made it to the next level. You know, there's nothing that says a witch can't be a cleaning lady. That's true. Uh, I'm a little nervous about the razor I over there. I was just going to say, why is there a razor blade in this sink? Well, that is where you shave. Oh, I guess. I think this was more of a cleaning sink. No. God, no! Razor blade! I did play a lot of this in the arcade, and you might say, is that because there were no good games available? And the answer is, yeah, back... That's actually true. Back in the day, there were no good games. So that's what we played, because that's how amazing games were. Oh my god, it's Bosconian! Oh my goodness, Queen of the Night. That Long story cool. short, Bosconian's the best uh, old-timey shooting game ever. There, I said it. Oh, you'll see. When everybody else was playing Asteroids, I was playing Bosconian. Alive, alive. So, careful. Yes! So you can either destroy the six things on the outside, or shoot the weak point of the ship. Uh, there are asteroids to destroy, they were calling alive, ships to use alive. as reinforcements. Each one of the ship's nodes can shoot at you. It is, alive. it is magnificent. Oh. And see, in the start of the second level, they can be sideways or diagonal, and they have a shield that opens and closes to protect their, uh, thing, uh... Alive! Oh, alive. Hey, nice. No! There's a formation attack. That's... No! They got me! It's one of the deadlier kinds of attacks. Alive! Oh! And they'll blast off. Alive! Oh, I alive. can hold the button down. That's actually very convenient. I did not see your joke yesterday in the live stream. Oh no, a joke? Oh, you missed it! Alive, it's uh, one alive. of the cleverer parts about the game. The enemy ships can also crash into mines and asteroids. Oh. Whoa! Alive, I'm surrounded alive. by challenges! However shall I deal with them? By being awesome at destroying space stations? Yeah, no, that, that is how you would do it. Alive, this, alive. Is, this was literally my game as a kid. Like this is, alive, if there was a oh. game that I was the best one at, it's this game. And I played alive, the alive. In the background. Yes, and I've been humming it ever since. Do 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 I'm gonna show you that if you destroy all of the modules, alive, you also alive. destroy. Uh -huh. I know. See. It's a wonderful game, alive, and again, alive. imagine this compared to Space Invaders, alive, or, alive. there we go, compared to Space Invaders, or what's the other alive. one? Oh. Galaga. Uh. See, it starts firing rockets at alive, you, out alive. of its uh, weak point. Careful. You can destroy the rockets. It's, Bosconian's a magnificent game, and I would encourage anybody to play themselves some Bosconian. I'm so happy it's on here. 75th in the world. It's not actually a great score, but I'm happy with it. 
Uh, okay. Now we're going to play... <sighs> Ball Breaker. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> you hesitated. Uh, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> I might not have done it had you not, like, made the big production. But really? You, did it, you would have done it. Uh... No, you would have done it no matter what. All right. What the hell? Oh, God. This looks horrible. What is happening? I don't. Oh, I get it. It's a it's an isometric 3D yeah. pong, and you move the paddle by pushing it's left atrocious. and right. Oh, who thought this was a good idea? You can't tell what's happening at all. Oh, wow, that was terrible. I love how quickly you can. You can't quickly. tell where the ball is. I know. It's impossible. <sighs> that being said, I've played some 3D uh, Arkanoids lately. And they actually work quite well. Oh, that's good. I thought so. What's next? Uh, bomb. Bombo. 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 Collect some bombs and diffuse the tension. Ugh. In this nicely rendered action game. So we got a jetpack. Let's do this. Uh, time to reveal who's on the plushie cam today. Yay! That's right. The whole time it was... Bun Bun! Bun Bun! Which no one guessed. Bun -bun. Sorry, everybody. Hey, what's up, everybody? Bun Bun's a little offended nobody guessed Bun Bun. Alright. Oh, this is just Bomb Jack. This is just a rip off of Bomb Jack. Oh, sweet of the night. That's atrociously bad. I like it. Are you familiar with Bomb Jack? You play as a guy who's like a superhero with a little cape and everything, and you just jump around levels collecting all the bombs. Well, this is an illegal ripoff of that. It is cool. Thank you for noticing. Oh. See, every time you press jump, you do your full jump. So you have to time and aim it correctly. But yeah, I mean, for, uh, this is... A normal thing that used to happen all the time on Commodore. In fact, that Battle Island game we just played was Commando, where they would see a popular arcade game and then be like, just some guy sitting in an office would be like, I could do, I could build that. And then he would just go and build it and release it as a fake bomb jack and make plenty of money. Bismarck for the ZX uh, Spectrum. I'm really excited about the next game. What is it? Yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Really. Don't spoil it. Uh, all right, so we're playing Bismarck. Do you want instructions? Yes. Oh, uh, why? Sync the Bismarck. Okay, well, I don't need all of that. Oh, it's a strategy game. Oh, this seems like torture. It's Battleship. It's Battleship? It's just battleship, battleship, but about sinking the Bismarck. Wow. Left of the game screen shows the map of the game east of the top of the position of the ship, so you have to... Bismarck is inside. Her position will be shown by that, and the map will show her likely positions at the start. Each air. Oh my God, we're stopping this. No, I just. I can't. I can't do any more reading. We did a hidden object drinking game last night. I'm not in a headspace to play Battleship. Okay, game. All right, what is it? Break dance. <laughs> this looks amazing. This does look amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Are you uh, are you also in your like headspace imagining the uh game execs in the eighties being like, you know what's hot with these young kids these days? Prank dancing! How can we get this into our Wait, video games? What is this? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, okay, I think I'm just supposed to do what the guy does. But how do you know what to do? Um, I don't know. Oh, that's right. No, that's not that move. Okay, so you have to... So the point to the right is is down. That's, that's going to be up. Nope, that was... Okay, well, alright. And then he quit the game. Yeah! Oh, yeah! So it's just Simon. See? So, um, up, left, up, spin. 
Up, left, up, spin, left. The music for Commodore 64 games is the best yeah, video game music ever? Cool, Horror King. It, they, did, they had awesome soundtracks back in the day. Hey, I completely agree with that. We're playing all the... What, what collection is this? This is the Ant Stream Retro Collection. The Ant Stream Retro Collection. That is a mouthful. Yeah. And we are uh, uh, d going through it alphabetically. So we're into the B. Uh, so we've already played Battle Island or whatever it's... Battle Valley. Uh, so we're just going to see what it looks like on the Commodore 64. Because we previously played it, I believe, on the ZX Spectrum. I will prepare for combat. Thank you for suggesting that. I'm just sad they don't have Beachhead. It looks... Well, Commodore 64 is a pretty... It's actually a pretty good-looking system. Like, it really is. But unfortunately, we've already played it, so we don't have to keep playing it. All right. Battle Valley. Right, next up. Oh wait, we already played Ball Breaker. Normally they have the same cover, but here they actually have different Balls. covers. Ah, I deserved that. I'm not going <laughs> to pretend I didn't. All right, let's see what it looks Am like I on the ZX Spectrum. Breaking your brain with this? Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> All right, it's oh. not letting me start. Oh, wait, I might have hit the mouse. That's on me, everybody. That one's not the game. That's me. I hit the mouse. I'll be more careful in the future. I oh, will I? see your last joke. That was horrendous queen of the night. All right. Oh, it's the exact same terrible game. Although, I will say this. It starts in a different map. Ow! And then it went a different way! Is this why we're all such a fan of boom blocks? God, I miss boom blocks. Yeah, if only it hadn't destroyed both of our shoulders. Well, my shoulder was admittedly already questionable. Destroyed. Yeah, that's true. Which wow, is it not happy today? So that says battle level I five. Does that say battle level? Battle, battle lane, lane five. volume five. Chase down an army of nuclear villains in this high speed rager. The ultimate in motorcycle combat? Uh, that sounds amazing. I know, it is impressive. Okay. When you get games where you download them and you're like, why? Why is this taking all of the memory on my system? Alright, let's do it. So it's a fake Mad Max. But with motorcycle chases. Honestly, this seems like a pretty good premise. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. This also seems really familiar to me. Well, I mean, it was an arcade game. You might have seen it back in the day. It is. You can't hit their crashing bikes or you die. I just learned. Logical. Oh, yeah. Is Nediel okay? I don't know what that is. What is the Nediel? Whoa! Dang! Oh my god, did you see that? I hit the jeep, and it rolled over and hit the uh, other guy. Oh, then I got shot. Wow, you can hit the passenger in a jeep and kill him and he stops shooting, but the driver will keep the jeep going. They've actually thought this out. See? It's only when you shoot the driver that they crashes. I gotta say, I don't know that I've ever played this before, but that's a really cool game. Like, cool premise. It's a little iffy to play, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I just uh, remember dying a, all the time. I'm gonna put a star on that bad boy. Is that something that would have killed you just constantly? Yeah. Okay. Now let's find out what's going on with Bubble Dizzy. The name makes me slightly worried, although that was an adorable cover. Dizzy is a famous mascot from a bunch of games and this is a dizzy this is a bu see there he is he's an egg oh, and he has egg adventures this on the Commodore adorable. Amiga so you gotta get it is really bubble? adorable that's what I'm thinking oh. ok 
Okay. Yes, it is. What? Oh no! Oh no! Bubble Dizzy, what are you doing? Nope, careful. Can you land on the jellyfish? No, that would kill you. I thought maybe only if you hit it from underneath. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Ah! Well, it's an old-timey Amiga game. They tended to be incredibly difficult. Is the needle okay? The needle from what? What needle? I'm so confused. Okay, cool. I think I lost track of the conversation. Okay. 72nd in the world, score-wise. Nice. I know. That's of the uh, 80 people who have played Boulder it. Boulder Dash? Are you not familiar with Boulder Dash? No, I remember Boulder Dash. Wait, in Boulder Dash 3, we went to the moon? Yeah, that's that's why I was confused, because I saw the cover and I was like, that's not what I remember Boulder Dash. Being. Apparently in Boulder Dash 3, people go to the moon. Oh, uh, for my backseat. Uh. It looked okay, yeah. I mean, All my right. muscles are pretty rock hard, so she almost dented the needle trying to inject the vaccine, but like, it didn't happen. Wait, why is everything gray? No, but it's very... So remember, if you dig a hole underneath a boulder, yeah. the boulder will come crashing down. That I remember. Careful. And you only have X amount of time to finish the level, escape, and get as many gems as you possibly can. It's okay, you're allowed to break it. You just yeah, can't sta this. stick around. Do you remember how to play the game now? Yeah. Oh, the gems also fall. Did that I remember that? I remember. I did not remember that. Vaguely. I mean, very vaguely. I do like that they, uh... It's okay. They simulated the, uh, the idea that it can fall out sideways like that if there's just a boulder under it and not dirt. Again, there's some fun simulated, uh, physics in this. So that one's not going to fall, but if it was stacked atop to it was stacked to uh, boulders, it would have fallen. Dirt holds it in place, but see, just like that. Dirt holds it in place, but other rocks don't. And yeah, a fun thing about this game. Well, I say fun. A challenging thing about this game is you can accidentally trap yourself and close off the exit, as I just did. See, now I can't win the game. They thought it through. Like, Boulder Dash is a, like, it's a very well-designed puzzle game. Always has been, and I've always been a fan. He's still trying to get his second appointment moved up, but he couldn't move it up because he was after me for his first shot. He can only try starting to get his second appointment moved up tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh. Boulder Dash 2! Rockford's Revenge. Is the character I'm playing named Rockford? Well, this does look better than the previous one. Like, no notes in the previous one, but it all being gray was a weird choice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops. That was a lot of dynamite. Weird, Rainbow Fox. The people are faceless? Faceless? Read the comment. Okay. I'm a little hope I used the Unreal Locker. The oh, first nice. The scene where you decide Mary's fate. The people yeah, all of the people faceless. in the background are faceless yeah. uh, in all of those scenes. They look like the mannequin, and it's pointedly, they look like the mannequins from the, uh, from the museum, Rainbow. I it's a really cool scene. Bob Slay. Is that how you spell that? No, it's Bob Sled. Oh, okay. That's why I was like, what the hell? Oh, this looks terrible. This looks atrociously bad. It's hurting my brain. How do I go? I have aborted the race. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I couldn't look at that any longer. You all saw what it looked like. Uh, terrible joke. Go, Horror King. And that says, Butasan. Which is an arcade game about a pig who blows up other pigs. That sounds amazing. 
Actually sounds a little amazing, I'm not going to lie. Be honest, you're about to be in hog heaven. Oh, God, woman. All right, let's do this. Throw the, with the A button. Ready is obstinate and testy. Blues is a coward cry baby. Lemony is cheerful. And I am a murderer. Okay, there's business pig. Oh, so that's the timer on this? Yes. That's cool. It's actually a very cool idea. You throw it and then the timer starts. We won! That's right, pigs, take okay. that. Very funny, Horror King. Oh no, bucks. they've added extra pigs! And now Business bucks? Pig is here to talk about it. We're baking you! Oh god. How dare you? Wait, why did that explode? Good question. Wait, I thought they had timers! <laughs> See? Three, two, one. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Maybe if they hit a pig directly, they blow up now? Is he hiding? Oh, you can hide in the game. I got him! This is a weird game, right? Yeah, it's very weird. Okay, we'll stop. Damn, Horror King. <laughs> so cold. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, it's Barbarian. That's horrible, Horror King. Everybody get ready for Barbarian. Barbarian? Wow, how is that bikini staying on her? Tape, obviously. Okay. It's nice to know in Barbarian times they had tape to keep, you know, boob tape to keep bikini tops on. Okay, do I know how to play this game? No. But I still wow. cut off that dude's head! Cut off a dude's head! Why is there a lizard man? He's dragging the yeah. corpse away? That's why this game is famous. That's amazing! It really is. So you, you hold- You don't want me to hog all the puns, you say. So you can do rolls to knock dudes down. Then you have to try and do a series of moves to attack, but at any point, if you pull off the spinning move, his head gets cut off. It's, uh, quite a game. I'm very bad at it. If you beat enough guys, you fight a wizard, and then it's game over. Or maybe a dragon. It's been a while. Dragon? I love dragons. Everybody does, but they often have to be killed in video games. Well, dragons hoard gold, and we need gold to keep the economy going. So killing dragons is basically a make-work project for knights. Uh, war is hell. Get you and your buddies to the objective in this grim Vietnam action game. Uh-oh. Right? I know, right? Grim Vietnam action? That's questionable. You've lost me already by having this slow an opening sequence. What the hell is happening? Uh, cancel. No, I'll, like, let me start the game, guys. There we go. Nice work, Rainbow. Oh. All right, here we go. Don't worry. This is the non-alcoholic popsicle. Okay, so this is me shooting while in a speedboat. This does not feel like the grim uh, Vietnam action game I was promised. Uh-oh. There's plants for me to avoid. Look out, everybody. I might hit some plants. Nice, Rainbow. It's so a plane! the best ending for last. I like it. Adorbs. You have a questionable definition of the term best ending. Okay, well, I think we've had, I think that's enough of that. Yeah, just, that, that, that's enough of that. Don't even know that was supposed to be. It had no audio of any kind. Hmm. Burger King! That says Burger King. No, Boogie Wings. Damn it. Okay, I thought it was Burger King. It's also by Data East, though, so I wasn't crazy for thinking that. Uh, use hook and fire. Damn. 
This is a newer game than the I thought great it was. Ragtime show. He just said the great ragtime show. What? Is okay, just me or does this look amazing? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Whoa! Yes, definitely. What is happening? I've got a, I've got a club oh God, at the end of my ship. Behind what? And now, after they shot down my ship, I was running around on the ground. What kind of game is this? I just dropped an air mine on a giant steamship. This is like a a diesel punk air hero adventure shooter that I, I've never seen this game before, and I'm really mad that I've never seen this game before. Okay. This is like everything I love in narratives. I know. Air this heroes. Of course. I don't know what Slendy Tubbies is. This is an arcade game. That's unbelievably badass? Yeah, ragtime, there it is. Hey! Pony Island, Transporter, Imperial Science Museum, Detroit Rock City, Merry Merry Christmas. You can choose where you want to go next. Look, it's Christmas! I'm so happy right now. Wow. Coffee sales, the Christmas Rambo. Also created from the Hey! Frambo's fun, but I got stuck in the twins' house and the game's lack of a hint system it encouraged me to never play it again. Dear Adventure Games, if you don't have a hidden system, that means you don't respect your audience. Wait, I can get in a motorcycle? If my ship was destroyed. Okay, that game is really cool. Like, we're gonna put a star on that one. And apparently I'm 355th, so plenty of people have played Boogie Wings. Wow. Uh, no, it was originally made by a, game, a company called PopCap Coffee, and then EA bought PopCap. Um, are what? you looking at the screen? Is that a rabbit? Follow the monster? struggles of one small rabbit looking to build a successful career in the fascinating world of organized crime in Chicago. What is it's happening? Bugsy. No, I saw. And because wow. of Bugs Bunny, they're like, oh, okay. Well, Bugsy Siegel, Bugs Bunny, what if they were one guy and lived in Chicago instead of New York? <laughs> oh my god. Separate time cup of cocoa. Quiet game and poker in progress. Trixie Trinian. The very adventures in the very big caves. Suddenly, the door bursts open and a rabbit stag is in. It's pale blue, three feet tall and cute as they build him. It's bleeding from a gunshot wound. The name's Bugsy, says the rabbit. Bugsy Maroon. I wanted to take over the Chicago mobs, but I blew it. It's all over now. I'm hurt bad. I'm gonna die. What is this? Oh my god. Bilge and Balderdash? This is the best thing I've ever seen. What? Right. What? This is just an adventure game. It's no hardship to die an adventure game. You just get a message saying, do you want to try again? Yes. And then the game restarts. All right, that's the cleverest thing I've ever seen. The end. We're not going to play it now because it's a text adventure. But that's the best opening a text adventure game has ever had. Mm -hmm. Whoever made Bugsy, you're a frigging genius. Two thumbs up. Wow. That was incredible. Oh, I understand, Rainbow. Oh, it's the original Boulder Dash for C64. 
This is our third Boulder Dash game, and because the developers of this thing don't know how alphabetizing works, it's the one we're playing third. It's not even like reverse yes, alphabetic order. Yes, I saw your order. comment working. It wasn't all helpful, so it just didn't respond. I'm kidding. Uh-oh. Just give me... Cool, nice. Rainbow. You meant Pop Cap. Okay. Yes. And uh, Pop Cap later... Uh, Pop Cap was later purchased by EA. And then, uh... They made, uh... Plants vs. Zombies 2 into a crappy free-to-play mobile game, and then I never played it. You were so mad. Like, and I have bought literally bought... Copies oh god, I bought like ten copies of that game for people. That's how good I think Plants vs. Zombies is. What the... Oh, if they're on top of a diamond, they'll also fall. I probably should have assumed that, but, you know, it's been a while since I played Boulder Dash. It is a lot like Dig Dug Horror King, only it's a puzzle game instead of an action game, because you never have to deal with monsters. It's all about puzzling your way through that. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's an Amiga BMX simulator. At a popsicle. Yes, you are. So bravo, you horrible monster! All right, let's do it. Oh wow! Oh weird. I gotta say, okay, well I crashed immediately, but. Amiga games look fantastic. Yeah. It's amazing what they're able to do with this system. The le detail level? There are any SNES games you wouldn't even see that level of detail in. In fact, most NES games you wouldn't see that level of detail in. Alright, what's this? Burning Fight! Oh, it's an arcade game. Is it a fighting game? Butch New York Detectives Duke and Billy travel to Japan to battle a Japanese crime syndicate. They're butch. Damn right they are. Oh my god. What? So is this the like perfect game to play during Pride Month? Or oh absolutely. It's both. You know it. Oh my god. So it's just a SNK ripping off Final Fight? Not SNK. Oh. Data East? Somebody ripping off maybe it's SNK. Somebody's ripping off Final Fight. That's fine. No notes. Duke, Ryu, Bill. Apparently, it's no, his turn. They're now. not that butch. There's not a but. They're not as butch as I was expecting them no. to be. No one has a mustache. No. Well, no. I'm sure there will be villains with mustaches. It's a Final Fight clone. There's going to be leather. That's just a fact. Gotcha. Strangely, I feel like I played this. Well, it was if it was an SNK game, as I suspect. It would have been part of the Neo Geo console, so you might have. Was it an arcade game? Of course. Yeah, I feel like I played this in a, an arcade in Maine. That is a weird place to have played it, but okay. We're camping, oh, I understand, but I'm just saying. Weird weird thing to bring up. Super attack! A distinct memory Why can't I do the super attack? In the arcade. Oh, there it is. Because there was a campground with an arcade in it. I thought that nice. was super cool. That is super cool. No notes. And I was hanging out and I was like the only person there playing the games. That's so sad. Yeah. Why weren't other people playing the games? It was cold. Oh. I'm using air quotes. It was not cold. It was like 22 degrees Celsius. It was fine. But like a lot of people, ha I remember the, the campgrounds we were in, the woman uh, that was one of the people that ran it was like, yeah, a lot of people have canceled. I'm glad you showed up. People are saying it's too cold to come down and, you know, swim in the ocean and stuff. And we were like, it's pretty degrees Celsius. What are you talking about? So that was a bonus level where you go to a bar and break their piano. <laughs> and we ended up having this conversation where we're like, well, we're from Canada. And she was like, oh, Canada, eh? So I guess this is really warm for you since you have, like, snow, right? Oh, we those like, poor oh. dum-dums. And then she did the even better Canadian cliche of being like, so I know this guy from Canada, Joe, do you know him? I might be wrong about the name she used, but, like, wow, you know that thing where people are like, you're from Canada, do you, you must know, know everyone from Canada. <laughs> Hey, Chaos, what's up? We're doing great. And before you ask, no, this was before 
remember that ad for beer, so it was not a reference. She's not making a clever joke. What I is understand. this game? You catch boxes falling off of the train, and you stack them in a warehouse. Can I tell you why you do that? No. Or why you're dying? Well, because I'm not directly aligned under it when I press oh. the button. See? So you're quitting this game, right? Yes. Let me just put this block away. No, nope, wrong kind. All right. Hello, quick, 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 Chaos quick, Shadow quick, quick. or Agent Dixon. Nice to see you. We're always happy to see people here on the chill Sunday stream. It was called Batty Builders. All right, well, we've already played Boulder Dash 2, so we're just going to have a look at the graphics on this one, then we'll move on. Uh, it's the Spectrum version, so it's probably going to look... Oh, my God! I got halfway into saying it's going to probably look a lot worse. And this is what happened. So you're quitting this railway, right? Well, we were always going to quit it. We're oh just doing God, the ZX Spectrum it? thing why of checking what stuff... Why are all these stuff... games this horrible color of yellow? Because that's all ZX Spectrum could put out. Oh, I prefer black and white. Oh, I know. It's a very ugly system. I don't know how it became the default in uh, the UK. It's terrible. Wait until you see the... I mean, we're like six games away from playing a game... Whose title might blow your mind? It might blow my mind. Yes, it Is might it blow your mind. Better, better than what was it? Ball blasters. Oh yeah. Okay. Yo, it's better, which you will see. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I start this game? And then he quit the game. Well, you can't start it. I pressed every button on the controller. Nothing started it. That's not my fault. That's the game's fault. Also, it's about a killer goat demon. That's something I totally would have enjoyed playing. Mm. Bombastic, you say? Tell me more. Wait, I remember this. Really? Bomb Pong? For the I... Atari 2600? Yeah. That seems like something the you would have played. Is... Yeah, and I liked the name. Yeah, 100% play this. I was enamored of the name. Oh, the name. look! So you push the you push the blocks at the other guy instead of instead of just batting them back and forth, and you want them to explode explode closer to your enemy than to you. That's cute. Not something we're gonna get into because you know there's nothing to it, but yeah, that's a cute twist on uh, Pong. Hey Nexus, what's up? Dreams on the PS5. And what is the game Dreams, Chaos? Bounder! Uh, are we playing a game as a giant tennis ball who bounces everywhere? That sounds like fun. I've already found out the game doesn't have air ball, which makes me sad, because I would have loved to have tried to, like, uh, finally beat air ball. It's not an option, sadly. Oh my god, look! I am a bouncing ball! Boing. Wait, why did I die? Okay. Why am I over there now? Boing. I don't know. I think you have to stay on the path. Oh, okay, I will. Okay. I see. Oh, I get it. Okay, then you have to push forward and push forward. Okay, this is incredibly hard to control. But at least we know what it is now. All horror chaos shadow. Nice. So what horror games are you playing on your channel? Oh no, it's Bob Sled again. Oh. Sorry, Bob Slay again. We have to load it to add it to my list of games we've covered. Uh, but we're not actually going to play this. Don't worry. We're not crazy. He's having trouble loading this game. I want to see what it looks like. Not a ton better. I mean, it looks better. Not a ton better, you know? Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's it's like Mario Maker, but you can make all kinds of games. Gotcha. I like the little big planet back in the day. Or Roblox right now. Black magic. Yeah, this nice. Awesome. Is this what you thought I'd be enamored of? No, no. You'll when you when you see the title, you'll know the, the one I think you're going to be. Get there faster. 
<laughs> you might be the best. Oh, look at this little cutie I'm playing as. And he's being chased by, like, a frog thing with a smiley face. No, I got grabbed by a bat. What the hell is happening? He's carrying me over to the eyeball. And trying to murder me. Okay, well, that was a game. <laughs> Are we dismissing these too quickly? No. Apparently we're dismissing these at exactly the right speed. Final Streets of Rage 2 was also a clone of, fi uh, clone of Final Fight Horror King. Yes. And uh, the poses of the characters state that that is more Final Fight than uh, Streets of Rage, which had more realistic poses for its fighters. Oh, it's Bounder again! Maybe I'll be able to control it better with graphics where I can see things. So he falls and he bounces. No, nope. I don't know what you were supposed to do there. I thought that thing was going to make me jump I much know, higher, I right? I thought so too. That's what. But then it didn't. Marissa's back. Hey, Hi, Marissa. Marissa. I played that game for four seconds, and we were 148th in the world wow. at playing it. So, no one so there are a bunch of people who played that Poro for only two or three seconds. Boro Bodor. Tell me more, Boro Bodor. What the hell is that name? An amazing name. <sighs> they did. Yeah, Streets ah. of uh, Rage are definitely better than Final Fight games. Well, I hope you enjoy driving. I did like that the opening credits there were uh, a ripoff of Terminator. That made me happy. Yeah, this is Terminator. The Green World. Do, 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 do. Feel like something should be happening, right? There we go. They're just 100% comfortable ripping off Terminator. Because it was video games in the 80s and 90s. What? Talking about video games today, did that? Not that openly. Not just using a drawing of Terminator that they traced over. They rip off each other, though. Oh, do they ever? <laughs> I think we've seen about enough of that. Uh, I'm not on the list because I got no score. Poro Boder. Okay. All right. And this is called Back to, Back to School? School, but spelled Ooh. with a K. Get into more mischief in the Do bigger and more ambitious sequel to School Days. Hear about that was Doug Ford's niece or Doug Ford's daughter. I can't remember what her. Ew. <laughs> Okay. So she's kind of like, her first name starts with a K. So let's say it's Krista. Krista's crazy. Um, all with a K. All with K's. And people are like, ah! <laughs> and she didn't realize until it went viral. And then she had to change the oh. name of her store. Where are these games? These games are from the past, Chaos. Are you ready? I need you to be okay, ready for I'm this. Ready. Emotionally I'm ready. I'm ready. ready for what you're I'm about ready. to see. Butch Hard Guy? I have so many jokes. My brain is exploding. You're literally about to play what a game that, called what was that game? Butch Hard Guy. Where you were like two guys like fighting something. I don't know, like five to ten years back. Okay. The two, two of them? Army of Two. Army of Two. Oh, God, yes. Is this the precursor to Army of Two? Yes, obviously. What's happening? Well, I'm supposed to do flips up to cages where I can rescue... Uh, Your butch hard guy? My unbelievably uh, butch muscle men that have been trapped in cages. I do also like that it has the, like, this is basically the colors of the trans flag. <laughs> so that so was happy. Butch Hard Man. It's just... A game that doesn't hard guy, Butch Hard, hard guy. guy. Did the game function? No. Am I happy to have played a game called Butch Hard Guy? Hells yeah. 100%. Bigfoot! That's disturbing. Footsie the Bigfoot rescue his girlfriend in this hairy adventure game. Please tell me more. Is it Harry? What is said it, it was? No, just Harry. Oh my god! Hey. That's weirdly upsetting to look at. Yeah. 
Wow, that's a scary monster. Nothing but old games. What just happened? Why did I die? Can't step on the water? I think you can't step in the water. I think you're right. Even though, it's, like, these waters I understand why I can't step on, but the one was a tiny puddle? Damn it, Bigfoot drowned. Oh, well. Bigfoot drowned, everybody. I feel bit like Bigfoot, Bigfoot was tall enough to just stand up in that water. You'd think. It's like but... that scene from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Exactly. Battle zone! Battle zone! Wait, didn't we already play this? No. Battle zone? Ah. What happened? I just dropped water on yourself? Yep. Alright. We are only up to the B games. We only play this on Sundays, so, you know, I don't know why you think we would He's be. He's going to have to buy a subscription to the service when his three month trial runs out. Oh, no, it's a free service. You just have oh. ads. Oh. Yeah. The only thing that the uh, pre pro uh, premium thing gets us is to not have ads. Is, so why haven't you put this in? Well, it's Battle Zone. It's historic. It's, you know, one of the first fake 3D games. Yes. First. People had already done this kind of graphics, you know, in labs, but in arcades, it was a big deal. And the new Battle Zone's Wasn't fantastic. Robin Hood, no, that scene is in both. It's in both, yeah. Yeah, they make fun of it in Robin and the By Knights. making it so the... By having um, Dave Chappelle just step over the river over yeah. and over again. Because it is three inches wide. <laughs> but in, in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, they li like he literally has the I can't swim moment. And everybody in the audience was like, can he just stand up? He's a really tall guy. And he could. It's not that deep a stream. Yep. You played that game as a kid? I'm not surprised. Bargain basement! Please sign your excess card. Okay. Oh, thank you. Alright, so now we play a pound sign, walking around a mall, buying things. I have bought a guitar or a sex toy. What? Look at it! Oh. Here is a Commodore 64. I will buy that as well. And now we will leave because I don't want to waste all my so money. Commodore 64 is a purple block. Yes. Oh, camera? No, it's a washing machine. I actually thought that was a washing machine. You uh, you were more observant than I was. A sword? No. Nope. That looks like a sex. I love swords. <laughs> and that? What the hell is that? A shovel? In the middle of digging up a grave? Oh, it's a flymo! Oh, I didn't realize it was a flymo. That's on me. That's For not knowing it's the obvious thing, a flymo. What is a flymo? No one knows what a flymo oh, okay. is. You should have bought it. Uh, I'm not risking putting a flymo in my inventory when I don't know what it is. Antenna, a one ton weight? No, thank you. Uh, the number... Oh, can I buy the concept of the number eight? And then... Oh, no, I died. Touching the concept of the number eight hurt you. Sandwich toaster? Yes, please. Alright, so we're trying to get enough items, but, like, get five items, but stay under the 386. So now we're at 225, uh, 275... No, 274... Two ninety five. Teaching us responsible. All right, we did it. Spending because I don't approve. <laughs> a pool ball is only two dollars. Oh, I can't buy it. We have a full inventory. An egg cup is also just two dollars. The hell's that? Uh, cryo geriatric plug. Sure. Again, stop it with the sex toys. There's just too many sex toys in this game. A gun? What the hell kind of British grocery store is this? Apparently we've been in this mall for six months. Top of the screen, it says the date. And it started in January. Ah, there's the number five. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. 
definitely a horror the comedy. There, there's horror stuff in there. What? The new Ghostbusters game, you know, that the original cast came back for, uh, was yeah. so delightful. And then they ruined it by, like... Yes. And we'll go back to alphabetical. I don't know how that got closed. Weird. It's very strange. I think we were cursed by that game about shopping. Yeah. Butch hard man. Sorry, butch hard guy. Yeah. Wow. Butch hard guy. A butch hard I way guy. way enjoy that way too much. You really did. And I respect you for it. Or do I? <laughs> oh. oh god, no. No, it's the exact same BMX game oh. we just played. Don't worry. We're just we were just loading it to make sure it ended Girl up on our loves list. This kind of game and I don't understand why. Top down uh anything about BMX biking? Yeah. yeah. BMX, motorbikes, anything with dirt bikes in it. I uh, I love all of it. Mm. All right. Now we've got what the hell is that? Oh, it's Boulder Dash again. There is an NES Boulder Dash? Did you know that? That's probably how I remember. That's one hundred percent how you played it. Now that I think about it. Let's oh see. wow! They really put in the bells and whistles, didn't they? Oh my god! Look at how much work they put into this yeah. thing. Of course I have War King. It was a very popular game. That's the same. Um, yeah, real I Ghostbusters. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at how much faster it moves. So what you have to know is, you don't actually have to move. The rock doesn't, like, I've been racing around like an idiot. The boulders don't actually move until you make a move. You actually have all the time in the world to think about stuff. And my rolling around like an idiot has just caused problems. This is probably the best version of Boulder Dash. Yeah, this is the one I played 100%. Uh-oh! That was embarrassing. I thought I could do something super risky, and I was wrong. Careful. There we go. Ah, Boulder Dash. It's always been a great game. This is not Bomberman. This is Boulder Dash. Although I understand how you would get them confused. Next, another version of Barbarian. I wonder how awful this looks on the ZX Spectrum. Like, is it's just going to be hard to look at, isn't it? Is that which one we're about to play? Yeah. You okay? Yep, just tired. Oh, dang. Is that Skeletor? Yes. That did not look good at all. Oh, wait, you're actually playing? Well, not for long. Wow, this looks horrible. I didn't it even really realize you're does. Playing. Why is Skeletor in color, but you're not? Uh, because the ZX Spectrum Sucked. can do colors if it's not moving. Jesus. If it's moving, it's just got to be terrible black and white images. Sadly, that was not Fabio. <sighs> I know, you'd think it would be based Boxing! on what this is made. There you go, kitten. You kitten away. What? <laughs> <laughs> Activision Boxing? Oh, God. I'm just dominating this guy. Oh, no, he got me. This is the weirdest boxing game. And it's just whoever scores the highest points in that amount of minutes. Huh. Weird. No leaderboard for that one, sadly. All right, what do we have next? Oh, Big Ben Strikes Again. Ooh. Wait, was that cop a monkey? Yes. Or possibly an ape. What am I playing? Oh, no. I need to look at this. Are, wait, are you the guy at the top? I, no, I'm the guy at the bottom. I thought I was supposed to grab the money. But you're not. But I'm not. Also, I think that might have been Margaret Thatcher at the top. Okay. See? Oh. See, that might be a caricature of Margaret Thatcher. I sort of see that. Okay, well, 
that was a satirical commentary on British politics that was completely incoherent to play. So we're just going to move on. That's hilarious, Horror King. BMX Freestyle. Oh, Lord, more BMX games. She uh, has a strong feeling about BMX games. And that I've strong feeling is many of them she's opposed to them. Hey, Apollo. You making feel old. Okay. Good to know. Who are we making feel old? No idea. Okay. You have a good night, Shadow. Have a good day. I like go sleep now. I figured you would. Yeah, I should be able to skip all this game. There we go. One player game. There you go. It's by Codemasters, which was a real company that made a lot of games. There you go. Oh, wow. This looks bad. All right. I was not good at doing a wheelie. You're supposed to do a wheelie for 45 feet to qualify, and I did one for 9 inches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not my finest moment. It's another version of Barbarian. Don't worry, we're not going to play this one either. Now Skeletor has a lady. Ow. There we go. Mission accomplished. Okay, in this one, the goblin laughs when I cut off the dude's head. And he comes to collect I the body. It was, it was a little cute. Now they're watching us in a different area. Mm -hmm. At the end of the game, as I said, you probably have to fight that guy. There's also a Barbarian 2, but this game, the, this collection does not seem to have it. Hey, it's Bomb Jack, the game that other game was a ripoff of. Huh. So sorry, everybody. I still don't understand how these guys got all of these Neo Geo games. You go, SNK. See? And you get bonus points. Oh, it's much better. But you see how it's clearly the exact same game, right? So you see how one has a wick on it that's burning down? Sure. See? Yeah. And the idea is, yeah. if you collect them in that order, you get bonus points for it. Yeah. So there's a correct order to collect everything. That origami bird seems like a monster. No! So yeah, this was a popular arcade game called Bomb Jack. Oh, she definitely didn't, horror, uh, copy. What didn't I do? Explain why you never play horror games. And the answer is because she doesn't like them. Yeah, I just, you know. You're not a fan. You don't have to be. Damn! Battle Valley looks a lot better on the Amiga. They're often button smasher type games, too. And she hates that. I hate that. She doesn't like slow point and click adventures and she doesn't like button smashers. So you put that together and well that's most games I in the horror genre. I don't like them when they're gory. I want to play ridiculous games. They make me happy but don't. Uh, you know, make me sad because we're real. Apparently the uh what do you call it? But I mean if it's barbarians cutting off each other's That's fine, fine, yeah. Um, so the uh there's a fatal frame game coming out. A new fatal frame game coming really? out. Really? Yes, for the Switch. Apparently it's a remake of one that had only been released in Japan before, so I'm very excited. I love Fatal Frame games, everybody. Will I use this as an excuse to replay the other Fatal Frame games for the channel? Probably. Which you've Ooh. been kind of talking about doing anyway. I do love Fatal Frame, I won't lie. Apparently I'm some sort of spaceman. So it's, uh... It's just a regular vertical shooter. See? What are you trying to shoot? The things on the ground. See? I shoot and the things explode. And then lasers kill me. As is often the case with lasers. They frequently prove deadly beyond all measure. 
Oh my god, are you Is seeing it? Because it? you remember some of these games, Queen of the Night. See? Battle Chess! Oh my god, we played so much. Oh my god, this is the version of Battle Chess. Oh, I know. We this had. is the actual Battle Chess. I would like you to move here. I just want to see a death animation. I love the guy's moving out of his way. Oh, <coughs> this is tight. Okay. <coughs> that was terrifying. Eversism. I forgive Woo. you. All right, let's see what happens if a knight kills a pawn. He's taking his sweet time to decide. Well, they have to anal analyze to see if it's a trap. No. Nope. He did. Yes, he, he, want to he take thought it was bait. a trap. Oh. I just want to see a death animation. Doesn't have to be an ordeal game. Oh my god. <laughs> Here, there, death animation. Let's do it. You have to kill me now. Right? Right? Thank you. Oh no! Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! Hey, Mason. We're just uh, going through Antstream's amazing collection of retro games and being delighted by what we find. Sometimes. That would be uh, ZX Spectrum version of Boulder Dash. This is going to be uh, hot trash. Oh, wow. God. It hurts. Especially, it hurts me to look at that opening. Especially after just playing the NES one. Yeah, that looked crazy good. ZX Spectrum version of BMX Freestyle. Oh, dear. I know. Uh, 1,200, Mason. There are 1,200 of these games. But if it's the same game on a different system, we don't replay it, obviously. Because I'm not a crazy person. We just load it up so it gets on our list of games. So we can confirm we have played all of the games. Okay. This is... Bomber? And there's a picture of a llama on the cover? That's weird, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, Llama Soft. Skill level one. Entry wave one. What the hell? Take that, buildings. I think it's a game about destroying a city. Yep. Weird thing to make a game about. I played this. Really? Yep. You impressed me to no end. I did. I had no idea that there was a battle chess enhanced. So we're literally playing reverse um, Space Invaders. Every le every time we loop around, we're one thing lower, and we have to destroy the buildings before uh, we get low enough that we crash into them. That's a really clever premise for a game. Like, I find this game much cleverer than I had anticipated. Way to go, Lamasoft. And now I'm about to die because I'm too low. Well, now I'll die. No! Well, we're going through, Horror King. We'll see if it turns up. We're going through the bees right now. It should turn up in the bees if it's Battle Chess Enhanced. It's not like the game was called Enhanced Battle Chess and we have to check the E's. What? Are you ready to be delighted? Now that's a game. I remember this. Let's make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. I'm not trying to do it all in one day, Mason. And it's 1,200, not 12,000. 
Arting's just wrong about that. Oh, God. I forgot how good the music is in this. If I was truly crazy, I would try to play all of the games on my Steam account. I recently discovered there are, this is not an exaggeration, 5,000 of them. <laughs> I wish that was an exaggeration, but it's not. Sorry, did I say five? 6,000 of them. I love Bubble Bobble. Oh, I'm so glad it's on here. I bet we're going to be doing a Bubble Bobble tournament soon. They have tournaments in this thing for all the games that have um, challenges in them. Okay. That says Bogey Manor. I think they meant it to say Boogey Manor, but they didn't. You found it? Found what? Your snack. Yes. Good. I didn't know what I was looking for, but yes. Bogey? Mm-hmm. Yes, we're we're doing our best, Mason. Oh, nice. What? Oh, look, there's only light on the floor that I'm on. And I have to do something. Ow. Well, that didn't work. Oh, I thought I could kill the ghost now that I destroyed both of the... You okay? Mm -hmm. Having trouble sitting down? Mm -hmm. It's a little weird. Mm -hmm. Later, Mason. I thought after I destroyed the orbs, I could slash ghosts with a knife. I was wrong. It's not clear how to play Bogey Manor. But we're 50th in the world at it, so that's good. It's not that good. Apparently a lot of other people gave up, too. Can you blame them? Baseball stars for the uh, SNK Neo Geo. As you can see, it looks shockingly good. This is like a non-robot version of their robot baseball game we played last time. Hello, Major League fans. My character's name is Zombie. The New York Monsters have a new lineup for the first game. I am not good at bo this uh, whole baseball thing. Oh well, that was my one out. You know the rules of baseball, right? One out and then you never get to play the game again? Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's the famous rules of baseball that we're all familiar with and agree on. B-Wings! You know the drill by now, pilot. Blast those alien scumbags out of the sky. Wow. I know. She's too busy eating, Queen. I have ice cream on my hand. I won't fall over. See? Told ya. What the hell? Oh, look! This is actually a cool device. At any point, I can dip down to avoid something. See? That's a feature I haven't really seen in a ton of games before. But if I duck down here, won't I hit that? Uh, I will. That is a cool extra feature. And it's not like it's limited, like the invincibility uh, loop in um, 1941. Hey, Pedro, what's up? Oh my god, are you seeing the games they have? Mm -hmm. They have bad dudes. Bad dudes about whether you're a bad enough dude to fight pre to rescue President Ronnie. Seriously? Yes, that's what that game is about. Wow. Okay. There's a ring lady saying we're about to fight. Thanks, ring lady. Um, I can't punch. Oh, I see. You hold down the button and then you press the other thing. Well, I got knocked out, and I may have been killed, which makes it game over. I know, Kel Domage. I know, it was surprising that we did three live streams yesterday. But my lady really wanted to do a hidden object drinking game, and who am I to say no on her birthday? Not 
my birthday. It was not your birthday, no. They do have copyright, uh... Sorry, Barbarian 2. They do have the rights to do Barbarian 2. Nice. I can't believe how ugly that... I mean, I know it's That's the ZX Spectrum okay. version. But why did they pick that color? <laughs> okay, all of the colors the ZX Spectrum can do are terrible. But why pick that one? Balloon Boy! Who's a hillbilly with a gun, apparently. Is this their version of Pang? No! That looks at like Allo, B-Boy on. <laughs> We're in the waterfall. What is this? Oh, it's Gallery. Well, that was fun. Well, no, I didn't actually play. I thought I pressed start, but it was just the demo. It was an accident. Okay, we're in level one. Scenery. Okay. Yeah, it's just Pang or Galaga. Oh my god! The balloon turned into a one-ton weight that crushed me. I was not expecting that. It's a, it's a very weird game. And I say respect it. Alright, so we're going to take a break here. We've had a good run playing 78. Okay, it's not actually that long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Playing 63 games with B in the title. Uh, we we're supposed to see if the real Ghostbusters were coming. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I'll type that in the search. Don't worry. Uh, real Ghostbusters? I'll just type in Ghostbusters. That's not how you spell that. Ghost Usters. Ghost Usters. Nope. Sadly. Okay, I don't know why real got all of that, but yes, they don't have real Ghostbusters. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with us. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more of this, buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. We'll see you back here for more of uh, these games, the next item on the playlist. But until then, we're going to say that's right. Au revoir.